oh, but before we go down, I just need to do one thing. And I was like, oh, what's that? And then he started kissing me. Hey everyone, it's Stephen Brenland and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Right everyone, now, I'm going to be doing a story time, okay? Also, sorry if, you know what, the, I was, I'm going to apologize for the angle of the camera, but I feel like it's always bad anyway. I feel like Trisha Paytas when she's on her kitchen floor. I am making a video about a gay story time because I know people love my LGBTQ story time things and I'm in the mood to tell a story. I thought, why not talk about my first gay kiss? Now, it's a little bit tricky because I have kissed a lot of boys, but not in that manner, in a sexual manner. So, like, I've kissed so many boys from the get-go, really, just as, like, a joke or as friends. Or, like, when I came to uni, when you play spin the bottle or something, you kiss people. So I've tried to nail down what I think is my first kiss. And that I have a few first kisses with guys, but I'm just gonna do one with a guy that I knew for sure liked me back. So why don't you go ahead, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, press the bell button so you get alerted every time I upload a video straight away, leave a comment and like my video. Be on this journey with me. Grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get into the story time. Mwah. Kissing guys. Yeah, like I said, I have been in situations where I've kissed men, guys, but they've not always been in a romantic way. Some have, however, I've chosen not to talk about a couple kisses because I feel like it's just not my business. Even though I was in it, it's just really not my business to put that out there. So I'll talk about my first kiss with a guy that there were mutual feelings with and he was really nice, very attractive. So when I came out, I was trying to get myself back on the scene um, but this time on the man scene and it it was very fun at first I mean I you know you know when you come out you get tinder you get grinder there's so many opportunities which I really take none that much I met this guy on tinder I didn't have grinder when I first came out because that was a bit you know and to be fair I don't really have it now I'll download it for about 10 minutes and delete it because I regret it straight away just because I was just the people on it. But I was on Tinder, I found someone really cute, and we spoke for a while. Him and me were just kind of seeing if we liked one another or not. I really liked him. He looked, he was very handsome, very nice, bit too deep, but I'm, I'm deep as well. I just, when I first came out, it literally took all of me, all my energy to come out of the closet. So I wasn't really myself when I came out, but I'm back. <laughs> So yeah, oh, I just nearly smashed my mirror. <laughs> Look, I've got... I do not want to start the year with bad luck. So me and this guy were talking for a couple of weeks and we spoke about meeting up. Anyway, I was like, you know what? Come around my house, come around for the night, bring a pillow. I would not do that now. So he ended up coming. There was an event at my house and I was a little bit tipsy. And when he, when he arrived, I made sure I got even more drunk because I was so nervous at meeting him. And yeah, I thought, you know what? We're probably gonna end up kissing tonight, but I was so nervous about kissing a guy because prior to him, I had only really kissed guys who I was just joking around with or just other things I wanna say, but I can't. No scandals. So yeah, I was really nervous because I thought, oh, this kiss would actually be something meaningful. Even though this would be the first night we're going to meet, we have been talking for a couple of weeks and I do feel like I like him. And I just really was intrigued and interested to know how it would feel to kiss a guy that I had feelings for and them having feelings for me. I walk out of my house, I go down the road to meet him and he gets out of the car, I think we hug and say hi. As we're walking back to mine, he's talking to me. I think I wasn't talking that much because I felt a bit nervous, but I was like, hi, how are you? Blah, blah, blah. Small chat, small talk. And he comes to my house and, you know, goes in my room. Just quickly though, I think he forgot his pillow. So he went back, got a pillow and then walked 
back up to my house and knock the door with a pillow in his hand. And as he knocked the door, one of my other friends came to my house to see someone else. And she obviously saw a guy at the door with a pillow and I was answering it like, oh, come in my room. And she was like, oh, because at that time I, I'd came out, but it wasn't really official. So no one really knew, but I was like, oh yeah, he's staying. Anyway, that was funny. We're talking, we're in my room. I give him a drink or two just to break the ice. In the back of my mind, I'm like, are we going out tonight? Like clubbing, because we were all ready or are we? staying in. I noticed that he started being shyer and I was getting more out there, more confident because I was just getting drunker, but he told me he didn't really drink that much, which I don't now. But at the time I was going through some things. So I was just drinking and drinking. An hour and a bit goes by and not much has happened. We've just been talking. And I, in the back of my head, I was like, is he gonna kiss me? Do I make the move? No, he's older than me. He should make the move. Because with boys, I think it's a little bit different because Typically speaking, when you're dating a girl, the guy is normally the one in this society anyway to make the first move to go in for the kiss first. So when it's two guys, you have to kind of distinguish who's doing what. It's a whole hoot and a half. <laughs> I was like, oh, I could kiss him, but then I'm like, oh, he's older than me, so maybe I'll let him have a bit more control. Anyway. People knock on my door, they're like, oh, come downstairs, come out, we're gonna go out in a bit, but just come say hi quickly. So I said, okay, let's go downstairs, let's go say hi. I open the door and I'm starting to feel a, a bit bad for myself because I haven't been kissed after an hour and a bit and two and a half weeks of talking to him. <sighs> and I just really wanted to kiss him. So as I open the door, he goes, oh, but before we go down, I just need to do one thing. And I was like, oh, what's that? And then he started kissing me. His lips were so soft against my lips. And yeah, we were kissing. And you know what, it was nice. I feel like our kissing was compatible because with some people, your the way the tongue moves doesn't really go with others, but me and him were compatible when kissing. <laughs> trying to give you some detail there. Kiss continued. We went downstairs for a bit. We said hi and that, but everyone eventually went out to clubbing and then me and him decided to stay in my house a little bit longer. And we said, oh, we may go clubbing in a bit, but yeah, you guys, you guys go out, we'll see you in a bit. I show him the garden and then he just starts kissing me again. I didn't really want to go out at that time because I just met him and I didn't really want to share him for the night because I didn't really have much time with him. So we stayed in and just got to know one another, blah, blah, blah. The kiss, okay, let's just get to it. So, first of all, the kiss was really nice. Uh, I was happy that he was a good kisser because people who I'm not compatible with when I'm kissing, I'm just like, me and you won't last, unfortunately. The kiss was really nice and sometimes I think, oh, kissing boys, is that weird? But it's not, it's not weird. It wasn't weird and it was nice to know that in my head I wasn't thinking, oh, it only feels nice when I kiss a girl because I didn't think that it felt, it felt, it was nice and fresh. <laughs> but I will say, I didn't really have that much feelings for him because you know, I feel like I need to kiss a guy who I have, I feel like it would be so much more intimate if I kissed a guy who I had feelings for. And I feel like everything's just better when you've got, when you love someone and you do something with them. So I would like to do that, however, Overall, my kiss with the guy was really nice and <laughs> highly recommend. <laughs> I think I've been single for a while where I've just, I've not found the right situation to be in. I want to be in love with someone before I start even like kissing someone. I just want to enjoy them as a person. And I'm not really big on meeting people online. I really like meeting people in person because I think it's more of an organic relationship. Don't get me wrong, I know I have a lot of relationships online, I have a lot of friendships online, especially with some of you watching this as well. But when it comes into romance, I prefer, my preference is to meet someone in real life because it feels more natural and there's more of that love, that love story. However, I might meet the person that I fall in love with online. You never know, my attitude could change. It could be someone, it could be one of you, so I don't know. That was my first gay experience with my, kissing a boy and 
I liked it. Do I think it's different to a girl? For sure. I think what makes it different is, I might sound, you might not get me, but the energy, because I think girls and guys give off different vibes and energies. And where I was kissing a guy, it was like two masculine energies. So the kiss was more intimate because obviously all that testosterone. I haven't done a story time for a couple of weeks. I don't really know how long. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what other story times you want me to do. There are some things that I avoid talking about, obviously, just for respect for other people and for self-respect. But yeah, let me know some of the story times you want to hear from me and also leave a comment anyway. Leave this video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell button so you get alerted every time I upload a new video. And other than that, thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.